Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, please subscribe, followed by the bell. So as people look forward for a foldable smartphones are no longer an experimental lineup and people are now looking to the concept of the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Galaxy Z Flip 3 are undoubtedly, Samsung's highly anticipated device of 2021 and tempting it confident that these two handsets, will break the sales record in a foldable tone for the mass production of these phones. According to John Prosser Samsung begins mass production for Galaxy Z Fold 3 and Z Flip 3 ordering 50,000 plus units a day in prep for August 3rd event, so Samsung kicked up mass production for both the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3, ordering a staggering 50,000 to 70,000 units a day of each device, because that's much higher than what they produced of the previous models. Of these two handsets a day which is the highest for any foldable phone so far, this accounts for somewhere between. Reportedly looking to produce a combined 7 million units for these devices, so they're getting started with mass production a bit earlier this year, to be ready in time for launch, they only produced a combined 1 to 2 million units of the previous models, it's safe to say that Samsung feels good about these phones and is willing to invest more to produce more. Betting on customers wanting more foldables than ever in 2021, there's no denying the fact that Samsung's flagship foldable smartphones are expensive. $2,000 is a lot of money to spend on a smartphone, particularly one that will be outdated a year later. These devices need to become cheaper so that more people can join in on the fun. That's what Samsung is expected to do for the Galaxy Z Fold 3. A new report out of South Korea suggests that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 price will be lower than its predecessor. This isn't the first time we're hiring about a cut in the Galaxy Z Fold 3 price, we exclusively revealed earlier this month that a big price cut is on the cards for both the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Galaxy Z Flip 3, we also gave you an expect range of the price cut, they haven't mentioned exactly how much Samsung is lowering the prices, but it's stated that these new devices will be up to 20% cheaper than their predecessors. In any case when multiple sources are telling the same thing it's a good indication that the rumor is actually true, honestly it would be shocking if Samsung didn't actually drop the prices considering. We saw a $400 price cut across the entire Galaxy S21 lineup, so the Galaxy Z Fold 3 can very well be up to $400 cheaper than the $1999 Galaxy Z Fold 2, that will certainly bring the new foldable within the reach of more customers. So a new report claims that the goals we will also be offered him 512GB storage variants and it won't be just limited to China the base storage will have 256GB of storage, it gets a fresh under display camera which is the first for both Samsung and the foldable phones, but you shouldn't expect much from a source also say this is probably the reason Samsung decided not use this camera on the Galaxy S20 brands last year. The selfie quality is not a big issue on the Z Fold 3 because it have an extra camera the cover display to fall back to place. You can also take selfie with the rear camera you can't do that on the S series. I think it's a wise decision to delay it until it produces the same quality images as the conventional front. Cameras, with that said Samsung has started development on Android 12 for the Galaxy S21 lineup. Google also unveiled the first beta of Android 12 in May during the I.O. conference and started pulling out the beta 12 update and what Android 12 release could happen in September as for when the Galaxy S21 should get the update. That is all the latest news I have for you guys, let me know your thought on the Z Fold 3 price tag in the comment below if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video, one peace out.